Hey everybody, I have this uh, ramp that I use with my wheelchair. It was uh, provided by uh, Habitat for Humanity and uh, Christmas in April and Ace and all that back in the t last year. Um, actually, I think I made a YouTube video about this being built. Uh, the one thing that did not, did not, did not come with is uh, the, the pegs, okay, uh, preventing uh, children and things falling off. So. These are handmade, homemade, handmade out of old pressure treated wood that came off of a creche. A creche uh, that holds a uh, uh, nativity set, a life size nativity set, which I have uh, also uh, making a video of because I'm uh, using money from my YouTube channel. And thank you everybody for, uh, for helping me out. But, uh, um, uh, you know, purchasing new wood and replacing it, and the old wood, which I've already cut down. Is right here there's a lot of it right there all this is uh, uh, I think it's 19 is it, uh, 19 inches so I gotta check one, one more time 29 inches or something like that I have it written down here 29 inches okay and I need 143 of them the other ones are 27 inches which is right here so I need to cut these down I'm going to show you how to do it all right first you're cutting everything to, to, to the measurement that you want all right, and what I did is I measured from where the blade is out here to the edge of my uh, mount on this uh, table, which I also made a YouTube video about, um, at 29 inches. So all I had to do was put it over here, level out the edge, chop. So, uh, so that's what all that is. And uh, when I have, uh, you can see right here, there's wordings, side, so it looks like water side, to the bridge, <laughs> okay, telling me which, uh, which side uh, was to face and all that. That's like a letter N matched up in the letter of the word top. All that's going to come out because I'm going to sand it out. You won't even tell that this came from something else. All right, so next thing you do is uh, take this down and put up your table saw or get another bench to put your table saw on, okay, and you're going to cut these to one and a quarter by one and a quarter. All the two and a half inch. All the uh, two by fours are actually one and a half inch uh, by three and a half inches. So, yep, you're going to have to trim all the way around on those. So, uh, I'm going to show you just how to do that. Remember to use all your safety gear. Okay, on your table saw, you want to put it somewhere around one and a quarter. Okay, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure everything's sturdy, everything's in place. I don't even use this thing, don't know why I have it on there. In fact, I think I'm just going to take it off because uh, the board's not coming out that far at all. All right, make sure your safety is all in place, everything's locked down, okay, uh, locked down nice and tight. Uh, I have a shop vac that's plugged into the back to help prevent as much uh, dust from getting all over because you got to get big piles of dust like that underneath. All right, so uh, it's going to get kind of noisy. I'm just going to show you how to do one of them, and then, uh, then uh, I don't think you need to see me do every single one. Now, on this piece of wood, there was a screw that was going down right there, and I cut it, and I uh, have have uh, plans for this. First of all, you could do your one and a quarter by uh, one and a quarter, and this guy would be, you know, the angle that's uh, that's uh, cut off, and you can actually still use it. Uh, the thing you have to watch out for is any nails and holes that might be inside the staples, and you want to make sure you're straight edge. So what, what I'm going to do is uh, turn on my switch over here, and it's going to start making noise. What you want to do is take the side that that you have, okay, and have it with the cut side up or down, and you go this way. You're going to take off just a little bit. So do it once one more time.
what we have now is a perfect one and a quarter by one and a quarter. All right, now after you sand this down, you won't even notice it's there, and you want to do all of your wood like this. Now this other piece, I don't think I'm going to get, um, I don't think it's going to work, because it's just short. So this guy, uh, this guy's not going to pass, all right, and it's about the same size as this guy right here. All right, so that's, that could be used for something else. So just stick it over in your stack over here. You probably have another project. And uh, go ahead and take all your other wood, stick it over on the side so you keep a clean workspace. And this guy is going to go over here because the next thing to do, after all this is done, you want to just do it one step at a time, cut them all down, and then do your angles, and then do your sanding. So that's how you do the one, and I have to do them the rest of, one, the rest of them, and it's going to take some time. Well, there they are, 5 by 11 plus 5. That's uh, quite a bit. All right, so uh, even out of this, I'm going to check out any warped ones. There's a gap right there, so I want to see this one's probably warped. But uh, if it's not that bad, I'm not going to worry about it. Well, this is what I get for stacking them in the wrong place. I had them all here, and I had to move them over there, so I have my stanchion to actually hold this up. I do have a LED light on here, which is also called a laser light. And you, that's where you want to bring it over. But you see this one, uh, this one I'm putting on there for a purpose. Uh, even though they have uh, an old eye here that was taken out, uh, what you're going to do is cut it on the angle, okay, right to the tip. All right, so the tip's right there. And for you guys that don't have this, uh, what you could do is uh, work your way from the other side this way with the chain, with the circular saw, not chain, yeah, and uh, with the um, miter saw. All right, it's part of framing. That's a framing one-on-one uh, idea for you. So uh, so go ahead and hold it up against, and then uh, do your chop, and you're going to do it the same way on the other side. So over here, it's going to be an angle going this way, because if you get it wrong, it's not going to work out. All right, so just do it to all of them. All right, I'm going to show you. I have the, uh, I have the uh, chop back on along with this. It's going to be kind of noisy. All right, when you do this, you put it on your level. I have the thing holding it on this side too. All right. Put the line on there, or line it up. Okay, so the line's right there, and then you bring it down. Okay, that's fine. All right. Then take it and flip it over, straight over, and do your other cut. What that does is it keeps the cut on that side, and it'll be on the same direction as they always do. So just flip it over and do the same thing. Alright, it is better to hold this. I usually have a thing here holding it. Alright, and just go ahead and cut it and you'll be just fine. Not bad. 59 of them in under an hour. And that laser on this thing, that LED light, worked really well and I have only one rejection which had a knot at the very end of it. So uh, probably not going to be able to use that one at all. Um, I keep it in case I need it for something else. Don't know. I don't like keeping junk too long. All this, uh, all these are the 45 degree cuts. So it worked out very well. So next thing is the probably the biggest job of it all: sanding them down.